it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Thank you, dear, for helping me with the dishes. Well, we're going to the movies. After all, many hands make light work. So would a dishwasher. <laughs> dear, if I gave you a dishwasher now, what would I give you for Christmas? I'm thinking something. <laughs> I better go up and get ready. Oh. Ward, you're not too tired to go, are you? Oh, I'm, I'm a little beat, but uh, do me good to get out of the house for a while. Think the boys will be all right? Oh, Wally will have too much to do doing homework and watching the beaver to get into trouble. I'll get ready. Pow, boing! Pow, boing! Pow, boing! Hey, beaver, what do you think you're doing? I'm shooting bullets in the ricochet. Pow, boing! Will you cut it out? I'm trying to do my homework. If you want to shoot bullets, go shoot them in the bathroom. No, I think I'll do my homework, too. Can I borrow a piece of your paper? Why don't you use your own school paper? I'm saving it for airplanes. <laughs> what kind of homework are you doing, Wally? Algebra. What's algebra? Well, it's kind of like arithmetic, only you try to find out what X and Y are. What are they? I don't know. I just started it this year. Well, would you get your face out of my homework? It's okay. I'm gonna go ask Dad to help me with mine. Oh. Hey, Beav. Yeah? Would you close the door? I don't want to hear it when he starts yelling at you. <laughs> oh, sure, Wally. Oh, you all ready, dear? Huh? Oh, I thought it was your mother. No, it's me. <clears throat> Could you help me, Dad? I gotta write a poem for school. Oh, not tonight, Beaver. I, I had a very hard day at the office. And anyway, your mother and I are going to the show. Uh, June! <laughs> When's the poem due? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? A poem? Oh, Beaver, I don't know. Miss Lander's gonna be mad at me if I don't bring it. It's for the school paper. When did she first ask you to do this? Mm, just about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Well, then why are you coming to me with it tonight? Because it's due tomorrow. <laughs> How long a poem? Mm, just about that long. That's all the space they give the third grade. All right, dear. If it's due tomorrow, I guess I can get you started on it. We're not allowed to use an ink pen, Dad. All right, where's your pencil? I had one, but I left it at school. Uh, well, then go upstairs and borrow one from Wally. Okay, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Beaver. Well, I'm all set. Hmm? The movies? Oh, uh, it'll be a little while, dear. I have to help Beaver with a poem. A poem? How long a poem? <laughs> oh. Going somewhere, Mom? Not tonight. <laughs> Here's a pencil, Dad. Why would you use no good ones? All right, uh, pull up something to sit on. What's your subject? Huh? Uh, Beaver, you have to have a subject. Didn't Miss Landers tell you that? No. She just told me to have a poem. Well, you have to write about something, Beaver. Uh, <clears throat> now, some poets have written about flowers and 
others about uh, uh, lakes and birds and trees. Oh. I'd like to write about um, bears. Bears. All right, fine. The bear. There you are. All right, now, you go ahead with it, and if you get stuck, I'll help you. Dad? What? I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, here. <clears throat> now, let me see. Uh, I would like to be a bear. What'd you do? <laughs> Beaver, that's the first line of the poem. Now, you write the second one, and it has to rhyme with bear. Dad? Yeah? I got an itch in my throat. Can I go get a drink of water? I suppose so. June, uh, I'm sorry, dear, but we're working in here. Oh, I'm just going to read the paper. I won't say a word. Uh, June, I'm sorry, dear, but uh, we're trying to write a poem, and it does require a certain amount of concentration, and I am rather tired. Oh. Well... Don't you worry about me. I'll go upstairs and read in a closet or something. Thank you. And Ward, don't write it for him. June, I'm, I'm not going to write it for him. I'm just trying to help him. I would like to be a bear. Something, something everywhere. Here, Dad. I brought you a glass of water, too. Uh, thank you, Beaver. Well, then, uh, we've got to buckle down here. Hi, Wally. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, I'll pick up my clothes later. Oh, I just came in here to read the paper. Uh, well, gee, Mom, I'm doing my homework. Oh, well, maybe I can help you. Uh, well, this is real tough. It's high school stuff. <laughs> you know, X's and Y's. Oh. Well, I'll read the paper in our room. Your father's downstairs helping the beaver with a poem. Yeah. His dad yelled at the beaver yet? <laughs> Wally, your father is helping him. We wouldn't yell at him. Oh, sure, Mom. Beaver, we're not going to get anywhere unless you pay attention. <laughs> Now, Beaver, I want you to sit there and concentrate until you think of a word that rhymes with bear. This is perfectly ridiculous, expecting me to do your homework for you. You put things off until the last minute, and then you don't even try. Well, do you have a word? I don't have anything. Well, what's the matter with you? I can't think if you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. I, I'm just telling you to think. Ward. What? Will you please stop yelling at the beaver while he's trying to do his homework? You see? Even Mom says you're yelling at me. <laughs> All right. All right, beaver. <laughs> I, I guess I did sort of lose my patience. Now then, uh, let's both calm down here and begin to concentrate on getting this thing done. I can't. I don't feel good. Where don't you feel well? Well, my stomach kind of hurts. And my head feels like it's tired. Well, I'll tell you what, Beaver. I think we're both a little tired. Why don't we just put this away for tonight, huh? But I gotta have it by the morning. Miss Lander said so. Oh, well, now, don't you worry about that. We'll get up and do it before breakfast. Have it done in no time. Okay, Dad. Beaver, uh, 
When you first knew about this three weeks ago, why didn't you write it then? Well, gee, Dad, I was afraid if I did it early, I might lose it before the time come. I see. Well, good night, Beaver. Good night, Dad. I would like to be a bear. <laughs> Gay and happy, free from care. Yeah. Morning. Where's the beaver? Oh, he's in the living room. Recopying his poem. Recopying it? Then you did write it for him. Well, it was his basic idea. I just embellished it a little. Then why is he copying it? Well, you know how it is in school, dear. Uh, neatness counts. Well, sure. Like a composition for Mr. Bloomgarden. If you can read it, he gives you 50% right off the bat. <laughs> my poem, Dad. You want to check it? Mm -hmm. Hey, Beaver, let's hear the poem. Oh, uh, say, if you fellows are going to get to school on time, you better finish your breakfast. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll just put this over here. With I'd like books. to hear what the Beaver wrote, too, and uh, they have uh, plenty uh, of time. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. Sure, Mom. <clears throat> the Bear by Theodore Cleaver, third grade. I would like to be a bear, gay and happy, free from care. That's the life like no other, climbing trees with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> climbing trees with my mother? Golly, Beaver, that's pretty corny. There's some more. You want to hear the other hunk? Well, I've uh, got to get to the office. Uh, you boys finish your breakfast. Excuse me, boys. Wally, you really think this is corny? Well, I guess not for the third grade. Ward, you wrote that poem for the beaver, didn't you? Now, June, it's just a little third grade poem. Well, there's nothing wrong with a parent helping his child with his schoolwork. Anyway, a beaver thinks he wrote it himself. Well, I hope it'll be all right. <laughs> Oh, Ward, climbing trees with my mother? <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, honey. Hi. Oh, hi, Mom. Aren't you home a little early? I ran. Are you hungry, Wooly? No, why? Just wondered. What happened in school today? Ain't nothing much. Dorothy had done my fainted in the cafeteria, right at the same table with me and Eddie Haskell. They took her to the infirmary. That's a shame. What'd you boys do? Eddie ate her ice cream. <laughs> oh, you and Dad are supposed to go down to Beaver School Monday night. What's going on? Oh, they're having a thing, dancing and reciting and junk like that. Me and some of the other high school guys are going over to help out. You're going to be in the grammar school program? Well, not exactly. Me and Chester move furniture around when the curtain's down. I think Beaver's in it, though. The Beaver? Yeah, he's gonna read that poem he wrote last night. They're giving him a prize or something. His poem won a prize? Yeah, they had a rehearsal today. I still think it's corny, but I mean, you never can tell what those teachers will go for. <laughs> Well, I think this is going to come as rather a surprise to your father. Were oh, you trying to get my attention, dear? Yes, I am. Well, dinner's ready, huh? Ward, did you talk to the beaver yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but I will. Ward, look. There's no sense in putting this off. You've got to talk to him. But we just can't let him get up in assembly and read that poem. Accept a prize for something he didn't do. No, I guess we can't. 
Where is he now? He's up in his room with Larry Mondello. I think they're trading marbles. Oh. Well, I can uh, talk to him after supper. Ward, Larry will be going soon. Now, why don't you go on up there and get it over with? <laughs> I'll go up in a little bit, dear. Hey, Beaver, why don't you train me for this, really? How about these three Emmys? Nah, I think I'll keep my really. I think I'll keep my Emmys. Hey, Beaver, you're gonna read your poem in assembly, huh? I'm gonna get a prize. Hey, that's pretty neat. I get a prize once in dancing school. For dancing? Nah, for being the only kid who came to every lesson. Oh. Hey, Larry. What'll you give me for these two glasses? How about these two Peary's? No. I think I'll keep my glasses. Yeah, I think I'll keep my Peary's. <laughs> you want to trade anymore? No. Me neither. This was fun trading marbles. Yeah. I better get home now. I don't want to be late for supper and have my father holler at me. Oh, hello, Larry. Hello, Mr. Cleaver. I was just going. Well, say hello to your father for me. I will, if he's not hollering at me. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, Larry, uh, would you mind closing the door on the way out? Close it? Yeah. So long, Beaver. <laughs> Supper ready, Dad? Yeah, in a few minutes. Uh, I want to talk to you about something, Beaver. Sit down. I am sitting down. Uh, well, get up and sit down. <laughs> oh. Well, hi, Mom. Uh, hi, Wally. Dinner will be ready soon. Well, it sure smells good in here. Thank you. Where's Dad? He's upstairs talking to the Beaver. Is he going to want to talk to me, too? I don't think so, Wally. Oh, that's good. Ah! He's talking to the beaver about that poem he wrote. Or didn't write. Was something wrong with the poem, Mom? No, except the beaver didn't write it. Your father wrote it. And we can't let the beaver take the prize. Well, gee, Miss Landers or Miss Rayburn don't know that. Wally, we can't let your brother take credit for something he didn't do. Yeah, I guess you can if you want to be honest. <laughs> That's just the point. But gee, Dad, I really did write the poem. No, Beaver. You just copied it. You didn't really write it. Yes, I did. I wrote it, and I put my name on it, and it's going to be in a school paper, and I'm going to get a prize in assembly and everything. Beaver, you didn't really make up the poem. I did. But I was the one who thunk up about being a bear. Well, I'm afraid that's about all you've thunk up. You went up to bed. I wrote the poem. But you told me to go to bed. <sighs> Does this mean I'm not going to get the prize? Beaver, if we let people think you wrote the poem, we'll be dishonest. Don't you understand? Yeah. I guess I did something bad. But I sure don't know what. All I did was go to bed when you told me to. Well, anyway, we have to let Miss Landers know you didn't write it. I don't want anybody to know that, Dad. Well, what do you suggest we do? I just won't go to school. Are you trying to tell me you don't want to go to school Monday? You want to miss assembly? No. I just won't go to school. Never again. Oh, now, Beaver. I'm not gonna go to school and have the kids laugh at me. And Miss Landers think I did something bad. I'm not gonna. Beaver! Mom says supper's ready. Oh, uh, thanks, Wally. Where's Beaver? Uh, he's a little upset. You mean he's not gonna get to read his poem in assembly? No, I'm afraid not, Wally. Gee, he shouldn't get too upset. The kids will stop razzing him in a week or so. Thank you, Wally. 
Hey, Beeb, come on out. Is Dad out there? No, he went downstairs. Okay, then. Hey, Beeb, you were crying. Did Dad hit you? No. Well, did he yell at you? No, he didn't yell at me. Well, golly, then, what are you crying for? Sometimes things get so messed up, there's nothing else you can do. Yeah. Thanks, Wally. Mom, you usually don't help us make our beds on Saturday. Is company coming or something? <laughs> no, Wally, I wanted to talk to the beaver about your father. Oh. Your father went down to your school today. He went to school on a Saturday? He made a special appointment with Mrs. Rayburn to explain about your poem. He's going to talk to Mrs. Rayburn? He's going to get me in all kinds of trouble. No, he isn't, Beaver. He's going to straighten it out. You'll see. Well, gee, Mom, Dad shouldn't have written the poem for Beaver in the first place. Oh, now that's just the point I wanted to make. If Beaver had written it when he first knew about it, none of this would have happened. Why, your father did what lots of fathers would have done. They love their children so much that, well, they help them too much. Mom? What, Beaver? I guess Dad wasn't really trying to get me in trouble. I would like to be a bear, gay and happy, free from care. That's the life like no other. Climbing trees. <laughs> Climbing trees with my mother. <laughs> I purposely wrote that to try and make it sound like an eight-year-old. <laughs> I see. Though they call me beast with dreadful rage, I've never locked things in a cage or set a trap since time's begun or shot at humans with a gun. <laughs> Rather well thought out, isn't it? Well, actually, uh, and this is no excuse for me, but actually, I tried to put down the way I know Beaver feels about animals. I, I mean, the sort of thing he might have said if he'd been able to stay awake the other night. Mr. Cleaver, I think I have the solution. What is it? Suppose we let Theodore write his own poem between now and Monday. Mrs. Rayburn, I think it's very nice of you to give uh, uh, both of us another chance. And I think it'll be very interesting to see what Beaver comes up with on his own. Also, I'm extremely sorry for having caused all this trouble trying to help Beaver. Well, maybe you overhelped him, Mr. Cleaver, but I'm afraid a great many of our parents don't even bother to help at all. Now, Wally, when you come home from school today, before we go to parents' night, I want you to take a bath and put on your blue suit. I want you to look decent tonight. Well, gee, Mom, I'm just going to be moving furniture backstage. I don't have to look decent. <laughs> uh, you put on your blue suit anyway. Yes, sir. Where's your brother? I think he's copying the poem he wrote yesterday. Uh, Wally, you didn't try to help him write it or anything, did you? Oh, no. Well, he asked me how to spell mostly, but I told him to look it up himself. Oh, good idea. Is it L-Y or L-E-Y? Uh, look it up. <laughs> well, Beaver, did you get your poem all finished? Sure, Mom. Well, you think we could hear it? I guess so. <clears throat> the Duck by Theodore Cleaver. Third grade. Once I wished I was a duck, cause mostly ducks have lots of luck. They swim around all day in a pool and mostly never have to go to school. Well, hey, that's not bad, Beef. Then I saw a duck hanging in the butcher store and I didn't want to be a duck no more. <laughs> Beaver, I think that's very, very cute. Hey, Beeb, you still think you'll get a prize for that? Sure, Wally. 
I'm the only kid in the third grade that wrote a poem. 